Hello investors, this is a video on Kirloskar oil engines. This video is brought by Smart Investor. Like our videos, share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. This video is for education purpose only. For all your investment decisions, please consult your financial advisor. In this video, we would like to cover the performance of the company for the second quarter FI24. The information is based on the investor presentation given by the company to the stock exchanges. Kiloskar Oil Engines has Lagager Machineries Private Limited, Kiloskar Americas, Arca Financial Holdings, Optica Pipes, ESVA Pumps, Arca FinCap and Arca Investment Advisory Services. These companies are part of the Kiloskar Oil Engines. The company has a 2x and 3y strategy looking to drive exponential growth over the next 3 years. The company has 2x, 3y strategy pillars which includes growth strategy, technology roadmap, people and talent development, channel and path to market operations excellence. So let us look at the progress of the company. The top line growth is for the first half of FI year on year has grown by 19%. The company has clocked at 2,324 crore revenue in first half of FI24. EBITDA margin is at 11.7%. PAT growth is at 31%. The company has a strong net cash position of 112 crores. EBITDA growth first half of FI24 shown a growth of 24% year on year. The last five consecutive quarters of more than 1000 crore revenue from operations achieved by the company. Continuing further, the company has 65 billion at double digit EBITDA, customer delight, employer of choice and attracts the best talent in the market. The products to business segments product lines include engines and gensets, industrial engines, power solutions for large institutional projects, clients, after sales support, a retail channel includes trans, trans tractor spares oil batteries. The products include engine based pump sets, electric pumps, electric LGM pumps, farm equipment, financial services. In the business segments, the company has B2B segment for power generation, industrial, aftermarket, international business, farm mechanism, and water management solutions. This is the performance of the company standalone sales highlights for second quarter FI24 with a year on year comparison. B2B sales have grown by 3% standing at 904 crores. Power generation is down 8% at 360 crores. Industrial 5% 235 crores. Distribution and aftermarket is up 23% and is clocked at 184 crores. International market has gone up by 12% and clocked 125 crores in second quarter FI24. The B2C sales up 19% to 143. WMS is up 21% and clocked 116 crores. FMS is at 27 crores. Let us look at the standalone sales highlights for first half FI24 with a year on year growth. B2B sales is at 2000 crores, power generation is 963, industrial at 467, distribution and aftermarket is at 358. Let us look at the consolidated segment wise performance of B2B. The company has shown marked entry into HHP segment by launching Opti Prime up to 3000 kVA. Record revenue for the first half of 2023 crores, 18% growth year on year, highest ever numbers in all business segments for first half of the year. Over 50,000 engines shipped, the largest shipment of engines from manufacturing plants, GOM approved and appointed for key international market. Industrial business ended first half very strong order book led by large railway and defense orders. 
कंसोलिडेट सेगमेंट परफॉर्मेंस ओवर यू बी टू सी के ओ एल वाटर मैनेज सोल्यूशन रेवेन्यू फॉर द क्वार्टर अप बाई ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर फार मेकनाइजेशन रेवेन्यू अप टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर एल जी एम ऑप्टिका मैनेजर ऑन ट्रैक एल जी एम प्लान कंसल्टेशन ऑन ट्रैक एल जी एम मार्जिन इम्प्रूव टू सेवन पॉइंट सेवन अगेंस्ट थ्री पॉइंट फाइव प्रीवियस ईयर एक्सपोर्ट्स फ्रॉम एल जी एम ब्रिज थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ सेल्स फॉर फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर Let us look at the segment-wise performance of financial services. KOL total investment in AFHPL stands at 1,052 crores. AFHPL revenue from operations stood at 127 crores in second quarter, a growth of 52 percent. PAT stood at 18.5 crores second quarter, FY24, a growth of 22 percent year on year. Total debt as on 20th June is at 3,154 crores. Debt to equity ratio is now at 2.8. Total asset under management on 30 September is at 4,128 crores. Let us look at the standalone performance highlights of Kiloskar Oil Engines, and this is sales is up 5% to 1,047. EBITDA margin is at 10.3. PAT margin is at 6.5. For the quarter and for the half year, the sales are two thousand three hundred three crores, a jump of nineteen percent. EBITDA is twenty four percent, and PAT and margin percentage is at thirty one percent. This is the standalone profit and loss statement. Net sales is at thousand forty seven point three crores. Other income is eleven point seven. EBITDA is at ninety eight point six crores. EBITDA margin is nine point three. Profit before tax is seventy nine point one crores. Profit after tax is fifty eight point six crores. PAT margin is at five point five percent. The consolidated performance highlights: sales we have already discussed, PAT and margin, consolidated profit and loss, segmental loss, and let us look at the performance of the company for the last six months and one year. The company share price has been growing steadily, and in the last one year, the share price has gone up by 121 percent, a jump of 387 rupees. Currently trading at 705 on 12th January, the share has given a return of 72.6 percent in the last six months, a jump of 296 rupees in the last one month. The share has gone up by 11.94 percent, and it is trading at 705. Investors can consider buying the script after analyzing performance for Q3 FI24, which is expected in the next couple of weeks. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Like our videos, share our videos, and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. This video is for education purpose only. For all investment decisions, please consult your financial advisor. Thank you.